Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Don K. Preston. I'm the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. Welcome to my morning musings. I appreciate so very much you watching and sharing this little bit of time with me, uh, enjoying my second, third, or I don't know, fourth cup of coffee, something like that. <laughs> I, I've been sharing with you my journey to the full Preterist view. Uh, very clearly, I had to deal with the book of Revelation. Uh, I've shared with you that I was raised believing, being taught, that the book was written 95, 98 AD under Domitian. Domitian was the beast persecuting the church, and then somehow or other, you threw uh, the Roman Catholic Church in there uh, to be destroyed at the end of time. Well, one of the things that really, really bothered me, as I shared in an earlier segment, was that as I really began to study, as I began to study history, and as I began most of all to study the biblical text, was I just couldn't justify the idea that this thing was written under Domitian. Now, here's kind of what I mean. There's such a beautiful harmony between the book of Revelation and Jesus' teaching and Paul's teaching in this respect. Jesus identified Old Covenant Jerusalem as the city that had killed the Old Testament prophets. They were going to kill him. They were also going to kill his apostles and prophets that he was going to send. In doing so, Israel slash Jerusalem would fill up the measure of her sin and be judged and destroyed in his generation. Now that's very clear from Jesus' teaching in Matthew 21 to 24. Paul follows up on that. Paul in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, 15 to 16, 14 to 16, says that the Jews had killed the prophets. They had now, of course, slain Jesus. And they were in the process of killing the apostles and prophets sent to them by Jesus, you know, just like Jesus said. And in doing so, they were filling up the measure of their sin and judgment was just about to fall. I mean, good grief, you have absolute perfect harmony. And by the way, I don't know of anybody that denies that Paul was talking about the very thing that Jesus was. Then we come to the book of Revelation. Revelation tells us that it's about the judgment of the city where the Lord was slain. Okay, Jesus wasn't slain in Rome. Jesus wasn't slain in the Vatican in the streets of the Vatican. And by the way, this Babylon, this great city, is also the city that had killed the prophets, Revelation 16, 6. And it's the city that killed the apostles and prophets of Jesus. In doing so, oh, that's chapter 18, 20 to 24. In doing so, her cup of sin was full, Revelation 17, 6, and judgment was just about to fall. Okay, now wait a minute. So we have Jesus identifying Jerusalem as the city that killed the prophets. They were going to kill him. They were going to kill his apostles and prophets, fill up the measure of their sin, be destroyed. No question at all about who that is. Paul said it was Old Covenant Jerusalem that had killed the prophets. They killed Jesus. They were killing the apostles and prophets. They were filling up the measure of their sin. They were about to be destroyed. John says Babylon had killed the prophets it's where the Lord was slain. She was killing the apostles and prophets of Jesus. Her measure of sin was now full. Judgment was about to fall. And we're supposed to think that John is talking about Rome. We're supposed to think John is talking about New York City. We're supposed to think that John is talking about literal Babylon and, and literal Iraq. Where's the consistency here? Uh, I See, this is just some of this stuff that blew me away of how commentators just they could see the harmony in Jesus between between Jesus and Paul they could even see the exact same parallels in John and yet all of a sudden they jump total total ship and say John's talking about someone totally different from Jesus and Paul he's talking about a totally different time that just didn't work for me I don't think it works logically 
I don't think it works textually. I don't think it works hermeneutically. So, I had to change my way of thinking about the book of Revelation. I've got a whole lot more I'll share with you. Thanks for joining me for this morning's, morning's morning musings. We'll see you on the flip side.